Okay, uh, that's uh, just a little bit, uh, little recap of um, modulators, demodulators we have studied. So basically, we have bitstream that modulate is modulated to uh, reasonable frequencies. Uh, those frequencies are then transmitted on the receiver, and they are made uh, again demodulated, and we get the bitstream back. <clears throat> So these, uh, this is a very standard uh, uh, communication method. It's used over telephone, radio frequencies, fiber optics, axial cable, and with the serial port communications. USB also. So all of this. So basically, it started when we had. Uh, uh, two computers are teleprinters which could communicate with each other uh, long time ago so that uh, you could send a telegram or a, a complete book or something like that so you would type something on one side that would be called data terminal uh, that would be uh, one uh, one data terminal equipment that will be connected to data communication equipment dce and uh, over telecommunication channel it will connect to another teleprinter and whatever you typed here if you press enter uh, enter that printer will move the page forward the same thing would happen on the other side if you press line feed over here a line feed will happen on the other side so all the control characters were there using all that ascii ascii uh, uh, notation so this uh, this is a uh, graph of a telephone line which uh, is a, uh, what we call a copper copper wire a copper pair uh, a drop wire it's sometimes called so many names for this so uh, dc level 0 and 5 cannot be transmitted on this telephone line so this is a typical a typical characteristic of a dial-up model. So, simple FSK modem, yeah, frequency shift keying modem that we talked about. Uh, we can have two simple frequency oscillators. I have written 1200 and 2400, but in practical, it is about 1000. You can say near about 1000 and uh, 1200. But just uh, you know, for pedagogical reasons, I've just shown these two frequencies. So uh, you send this signal; it is received over here. And if this signal has this frequency, this output is one. So these two frequencies are uh, transmitted, and uh, on the receiver end, you have two filters that would fill. This would only filter output one when this signal is uh, contains a frequency of twelve hertz. And same here with 2400 hertz crystal, uh, sorry, filter. So they were combined together to recover the original waveform here. So this was called a simple FSK model. So then came another one that was phase shift keying. So phase shift keying means that you have uh, the reason for phase shift keying was. Uh, PLL. PLL was uh, a completely solved problem, and it was such a wonderful thing to have that even when you were transmitting this signal, uh, this frequency over here, which had embedded uh, uh, clock in it, using all that we talked about, uh, you know, non return to zero encoding and things like that. Uh, and this uh, on the receiver end, you could recover that clock same was the case with this uh, uh, 
at this uh, higher frequency levels that you could send embed a carrier frequency uh, that the the receiver end would have the same exactly the same frequency uh, clock uh, a sinusoidal waveform so when the uh, and uh, because of pll you could have a continuous synchronous sinusoidal waveform over here which was totally in phase with the one which was transmitted here because PRL would ensure that both oscillators on the receiving end and the transmitting had had exactly the same frequency. Then it became very simple to know if the signal was in phase and a signal was out of phase. And uh, using this uh, in phase and out of phase information, uh you could should uh, send one and zero one zero so uh, if the signal was totally in phase with the input like this one you would send one when it was out of phase you send zero and so on so this would be called uh, frequency phase shift keying and this was only possible because of phase lock loop phase lock loop could easily tell you whether a signal was in phase with some other signal or it was the 180 degree out of phase and so on. So then came the FM modulation where you could send uh, uh, for zero, you could send uh, uh, smaller frequency and for one, you could send higher frequency. So zero one zero. So the high one means high frequency, zero means low frequency, one means higher frequency. As you know, uh, this uh, this FM modulation is uh, very close to FSK frequency shift keying. And uh, usually, just remember this for your life uh, that uh, during transmission of a signal. And no matter how far you send, the frequency doesn't change. It may, due to noise, it may change the amplitude. The fundamental frequency cannot change. It may have a harmonic, which are twice the size of the fundamental frequency, but the frequency cannot change. If I send one kilohertz signal, no matter where I send it, it will remain one kilohertz. Size. So if FM from frequency point of view is very robust, that's why FM radio is much clearer and better than AM radio, because you send signal on frequency modulated signal and <clears throat> like for example, uh, you know, if this uh, 50 Hertz uh, frequency that we get here due to Wabda is basically the frequency of rotation of the turbine in Tarbela Dam. So if that turbine is rotating according to 50 Hertz frequency, any change will require a very huge change in the turbine, the dynamics and the mechanical component, uh, mechanically, you know, mechanical system. So that frequency from Robda, when it comes because of that heavy <laughs> generator is cannot change along the way. So frequencies cannot change. If any distortion occurs, that is a harmonic distortion. Multiple of frequencies. So the third was the AM modulation. In AM, AM modulation, what they decided, uh, you could send, this is very prone to noise. You could send one, uh, zero at lower amplitude, but fr fundamental frequency is same. And one at higher amplitude. So the phase lock loop will catch this frequency on the receiving end. So amplitude will be very easy to find out the curve amplitude change over. And uh, amplitude is ka fayda ye tha ki it would, could be uh, easily uh, decoded using a simple peak detector that you probably study in your 
circuit devices course or something like that so by simply using a diode and a capacitor you could get uh, the am unmodulated signal at the output using peak detector so this was the am mod modulation so once we had we had uh, fm modulation uh, sorry uh, phase lock loop and we had a phase detection circuit very well very highly calibrated very highly accurate then the only way to go uh, was uh, to increase the bandwidth the bandwidth you know the, there are few clock cycles are uh, required for uh, the amplitude modulated signal before it can go for a peak detection so it's not just that when the clock cycle change was at the same time you get uh, the output of the peak modulator so a few clock cycles are required so that limited the, the, the time that you could send uh, you ha would have to spend for one and a zero as a result the bit rate would be reduced same case with the phase detection so the telephone line had a limit of a maximum frequency uh, signal you could send if a banded limited signal has a frequency of 12 1.2 kilohertz and you want to transmit it then you must sample it at twice the rate so 24 kilohertz would be the transmission rate of a 12 kilo 12 kilohertz signal but i know you क्यों भाई जाहरा पढ़ा है कहीं आपने ये सैंपलिंग थ्योरम अब्दुल्ला कोई भी नहीं यहां पे हेलो सर हमने वैसे नहीं पढ़ा बट वी डिड इट इन लैब अभी तो लैब में हमने देखा था वैसे हमने नहीं पढ़ा ओके सैंपलिंग थ्योरम जी सर क्या कह रहे हैं कोई डिफाइन कर सकती है व्हाट इज सैंपलिंग थ्योरम सर वही कह रही हूं ना कि हमने एक्सप्लिसिटली पढ़ा नहीं हुआ तो हमें इतना आईडिया नहीं था हमें लैब में भी कंफ्यूजन थी इसी वजह से तो फिर लैब का क्या फायदा हुआ अगर आपने लैब शैनन थ्योरम पे लैब की है और आपको पता ही नहीं कि है क्या ओहो so sampling theorem says that if a band emitted signal has a maximum frequency f you when you transmit it on a sampling rate of 2f twice the fundamental frequency uh, twice the maximum frequency of the of a band emitted signal then you can uh, reproduce the signal at the receiving end without any noise <laughs> it will 100% recover the original signal so if any signal that is uh, 12 hertz uh, 1200 hertz frequency pe ja raha hai aapke paas hai aap usko uh, twice sampling rate yani 2400 hertz pe uska sample leke bhejenge to receiving end pe wo sara totally recover ho jayega uh, so Technically speaking, you just need maximum of two signals on the receiving end to find out the, what is the amplitude of this signal, technically speaking. So anyway, so AM modulation and FM modulation when, uh, sorry, phase lock loop, when they were uh, AM modulation and phase lock loop, they were perfectly uh, predictable and uh, implementable then that gave to uh, <clears throat> this uh, rise to this uh, uh, other uh, um, modulation techniques so one of them was bpsk which are, we have already talked about binary phase shift gain means you send a one in phase at some amplitude over here 
you find zero 180 degree out of phase at some amplitude over here. This is called binary phase shift scheme. This is the most secure signal because the maximum there is a 180 degree distance between zero and one. Uh, amplitude difference is also quite a lot. Sorry, only 180 degree phase difference is there. Amplitude is same. So any communication like signaling communication or modem control communication, uh, which is does not have any user data is usually done in BPSK, binary phase shift key. Then came QPSK because we could tell if the signal come incoming signal was uh, 45 degree out of phase or 135 degree out of phase or, uh, you know, uh, two, 45 plus 90, 135 plus 90, uh, 225, and this is 315. So all these three could be easily, when students are so young, they are so young, they are so young, so all these could be easily identified okay. now we could assign two bits to each con signal con if i had a signal which was uh, 45 degree out of phase i would say okay i am receiving one one if it was uh, 135 degree out of phase i would say i am receiving zero one if it was uh, 200 and uh, 135 plus 90, 225, no, 45, 135 plus 45, 140 plus 41, you 45, 25, 90, 235, 25, sir. 225, so this was 225, so by measuring this angle, you could tell that this signal is what we have here, what we have Midstream. So, basically, this ki thodi si main apko zyada details se batana chahunga. That, for example, uh, you wanted to send a bit stream like this. One one zero one zero zero one one zero one zero. You want to send this bit stream through a QPSK modem. So, uh, if this is a QPSK modem, it will take two bits at the same time. So if this is one one, that means it will send. Kya tha wo diagram mein? Forty-five degree. Yehi tha na forty-five degree out of phase. So this was the fundamental frequency. And a one one signal will be sent uh, with the another uh, array. So this would be sent as a forty five degree out of phase. So this uh, receiver end will see okay, if the signal is forty five or five degree out of phase. It will say I am receiving one one. And all this could be done. That was only possible because of uh, uh, phase lock loop. Phase lock loop was 100% accurate. This is how the engineers have made it. The communication of the world has been done. And uh, you wouldn't be using mobile phones today if there was no phase lock loop.
Phasenal loop actually gets you 100% synchronized with your uh, tower. So you can really, really get the same frequency, same communication. So synchronization, that harmony is very important in data communication. So both of them have to be harmonized with each other before they can send data to each other. So this understanding, a both body understanding, thi, that both could have the same fundamental frequency signal. So if the signal was 45 degree out of phase, you could say, okay, uh, one one was being sent similarly when one zero was sent we would send the signal which was kya tha wo? Hai kisi ke baad diagram one zero ke liye 315 tha shayad ye k map ki tarah ye hai, and the, those are just, jo hai, uh, if you look at that they are actually uh, 180 degree out of phase, uh, uh, 8 bit ki change aari, just like K map. So, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So, you can see this is just like a K map. So, when 1, 0 was sent, being sent, you would send a signal that was 135 degree out of phase. Uh, this would be a signal that would repend, uh, uh, represent 145 degree out of phase. So this was from starting, this was uh, uh, the phase difference over here was 45 degrees. minus 45 degrees the phase difference over here was plus 45 degrees so i'm just drawing the sample as a signal the signal actually is a very much you know combination of uh, fundamental frequency plus 45 and so on i can't even draw this waveform that's where you know my way drawing my waveform draw draw Mary abilities job uh, you know job they did the so this is 135 degree out of phase yeah minus 45 degree out of phase so this would be so do do bits so transmission rate double ho jata tha kyunki aapne do do bit kathi bhej rahe hain aur receiver ko दो दो बिट कठी गैस कर लेता था यूजिंग फेज फेज इनफॉरमेशन तो यू कुड सेंड डाटा दैट वाज ट्वाइस द रेट सो एवरी सिग्नल चेंज वुड बी इंडिकेट एनी फेज चेंज वुड इंडिकेट दैट वी आर सेंडिंग टू टू बिट्स ऑफ डाटा एनी सिग्नल चेंज वुड इंडिकेट के वी एम सेंडिंग टू बिट्स ऑफ डाटा So, आपको इंटरनेट से वो मिल जाएंगे आपको वी विल फाइंड सम सिमुलेटर्स दैट वी शो के डाटा स्ट्रीम अगर दें तो किस तरह से कभी ये वाला डॉट जा रहा होता है कभी ये वाला डॉट जा रहा होता है कभी ये वाला कभी ये वाला और किस तरह से आउटपुट पे उस तरह की फ्रीक्वेंसीज चेंज हो रही होती हैं तो जी वन वन के लिए ये वन जीरो के लिए जीरो सॉरी जीरो वन के लिए ये जीरो जीरो के लिए और वन जीरो के लिए so you could see that the zoom karna you could see ke kis tarah se ye wala dot kabhi jata hai ye dot ye jata hai so changing from here to here for the changing from here to here means two bits of data are being changed change so information in each change was equal to two bits that gave rise to the term called baud rate so baud rate is in, on this diagram number of signal changes
पर सेकेंड so uh, bit to baud rate uh, baud to bit ratio was also defined so here baud to bit ratio is baud rate to bit rate ratio is 2 so each baud rate change would mean ke two bits are being transmitted so you could send actually two bits in one transmission so that is called a uh, uh, baud rate baud rate is changing values on this diagram so as the time went by uh, better and better circuits were made and more and more accurate information could be sent so what happened was that they decided to change uh, increase this look at this this is 8 psk with gray coding gray coding means ke aakhir dono ke beech mein ek bit ki change ho rahi hai gray coding yahan bhi aapko milega aap dekhenge ke successive uh, mein ek ek bit ki change hoti hai isko kehte hain gray code तो वन 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 अगर आप भेज रहे हैं तो इसमें बिट टू बाउड रेट क्या होगी ईमान आप सुन रही हैं जी सर इसमें क्या होगी बिट बाउड रेट टू बिट रेट रेशियो सर थ्री हाउ मच थ्री 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 का है ना आपने जी सर वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेल डन Yes, exactly. This is what it is going to be. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, that was uh, because of this phase lock loop. So all you have are sending is a twelve hertz fundamental signal, but the, you are rapidly changing the phase. So that. that is something that uh, uh, we were able to achieve uh, higher bit rates within uh, a band mein 4 kilohertz mein agar aap isi band mein rahe to aap itni zyada frequency ka signal hi bhej sakte unless unless you have uh, this uh, phase lock loop and phase shift king and this kind of stuff otherwise maximum signal you can send is uh, 8 mega 8 for 4 mega bit Uh, banded limited signal the maximum you could send was 2 megabits per second or oh, sorry 2 kilobits per second on a 4 kilohertz channel you could send 2 kilobits per second and this is where we broke uh, this uh, limit by using this oh, all right and now this is where we are actually getting some where very complex so this is called uh how many points are there only how many vectors are there sixteen so this will be called sixteen q a m here you can assign uh, uh, four bits to each signal change So if you are sending a in phase signal of one volt, that would be you are sending zero zero zero. So amplitude modulation is also included. So this is called a QAM quadrature amplitude modulation. That you this is using combination of amplitude and phase, and this diagram is called constellation diagram. Constellation किसे कहते हैं? Osama, what is the constellation? Sir, आप इसके बारे में पूछ रहे हैं। या as a general? General पूछ रहा हूँ। Constellation किसे कहते हैं? Network of satellites? नहीं। 
it there's Umar, Umar, what is the constellation? Uh, I'm not sir, star ki arrangement. Uh, star ki arrangements, jo hai na, isko kehte hai, uh, constellation in the sky. Pattern of star appearing in the sky. Ek, uh, ek bada big dipper and this kind of stuff. And uh, Orion is very popular. Orion constellation is a winter constellation. It's very, very popular. You could uh, always see Orion in winter. Uh, even in, you know, in, in the city. So look for Orion and you can see what is its shape. And it is in uh, December, January, it is right above your head, Orion. Saas-Taron ki toli bhi ek hota hai. Bachman ne yaad hai na, wo hum gaya karte hai. Saas-Taron ki ek toli, khel rahi thi, aankh me choli. Chor tha ek dumdar sitara. Phirta tha wo mara mara. Mashrik Maghrib, Mashrik Jata, Maghrib Jata. Kya tha ge? Stare uske haath na aate, Dord ke baadil mein chup jate. Haan. दोबारा सुनाता हूं मैं सात सितारों की कटोली खेल रही थी आंख में चोली सात सितारों की कटोली खेल रही थी आंख में चोली चोर था एक दुमदार सितारा फिरता था वो मारा मारा मशरिक जाता मगरिब जाता सब समतों का खोज लगाता तारे उसके हाथ ना आते दौड़ के बादल में छुप जाते ये आप अपने बच्चों को कभी हो मौका मिले तो आप याद कराया करें ये वाली ये हमारी सुकाफत का हिस्सा है इस तरह की नज़म है याद है अच्छा ठीक है ना सही है सो दिस इज अ कंसोलेशन डायग्राम इन मॉडर्न सिस्टम द क्यूपीएस के सो इट इज अ इट हैज 16 स्टार्स ईच पॉइंट ओवर हियर इज कॉल्ड अ स्टार 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 16 स्टार on this constellation diagram. So 16, uh, uh, so it can send one, uh, four bits in one signal change. So amplitude modulation and frequency modulation are defined. Uh, many uh, Wi-Fi is uh, uses these constellations. When it is communicating in the beginning with the base router, Wi-Fi mobile phone connect with the so BPS may case they communicate cut that. Once the connection is established, which is this is very secure. Once the connection is established, then it shifts to this one and sees if there are any errors. And the errors become uh, errors are okay, then it goes to depending on the signal strength, it will shift to this one. If that is fine, then it will shift to this one and it will go up to until 64. Uh, 128 point constellation diagram a 256 point constellation on 256 point constellation diagram you get the maximum speed connection with your wi-fi so it basically is a constellation uh, shifting is done according to the noise uh, uh, sorry signal uh, strength between you and uh, the the modem uh, router. This is 16 QM, which is a practical. Practically, it is how it is. In ye to maine waise aapko udhar dikha diya na draw karke. Practically, ye points hote hain char. Quadrature. Ye ek I I hota hai, isme ek Q hota hai. They are quadrature to each other. This is practical 16 QAM. Uh, the most 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 uh, reliable is called uh, half BPSK. So there you can send two streams, S is equal to zero, 
you send this zero one zero one and when s is equal to one you can send this and this So basically you are shifting between these two constellations or these two constellations. So that is uh, half the frequency, but it is the most reliable. So these are some of the related uh, questions that you could prepare. Uh, what is baud rate? Draw a diagram of, has, that has 64 points. What is the bit to baud rate ratio in this case? maybe draw a picture of 32 point constellation diagram you can search net for that uh, give it in uh, give each point a, na a name isko a b c d these, these are then called symbols so symbol rate is how many symbols are being sent per second baud rate ka ek aur naam bhi hota hai, symbol rate so this point over here, here is one symbol this point over here is one symbol this point over here is one symbol so symbol rate is basically sometimes it is also called baud rate, symbol rate. So each symbol is called symbol A, B, C, D, uh, to, which is uh, uh, attached to any each star in the constellation diagram. So if you draw 64, 32 point diagram, you can arbitrarily assign symbols to each star in the diagram then you can see here when you are sending this signal in this direction what symbol is being sent on this line over here when you are sending 64 five bits can be sent in one uh, in one uh, transmission one board uh, one uh, signal Yes, one signal. So five bits. So this may five five bits ka apko joda banana padega. Five bits ka ek, five bit ka ek, five bit ka ek. So five five bits ke you may have to make a group of five bits. So then you can see here ke which one this one will belong to signal A, B, C, D, and so on. So that way you can uh, on the bottom of this over here you can draw draw the symbols that are being sent. A, B, C, D, whatever is the signal that is symbol that is sent. And that is another signal. This is where you can compare RS232 with the synchronous communication, where we have 100 megabytes of signal file to be sent at a baud rate of 119200 with 99% efficiency. How long it will take to send data so bit to baud rate ratio is not given in this question so that is a, a bit to baud rate ratio you can assume as 8 in this question bar to bit rate is a ratio is 8 so calculate this this is the kind of question you can see in the next uh, quiz or something so prepare kar le. Uh, this is what we are going to do next class. Uh, null modern system in RS232 system is that when you don't have any ground. So ground is uh, modern in between, uh, like you have in the, in your uh, class. So you connect uh, ground to this ground, RX to TX of this, RX of this to TX of this. That would that is called null null modern system. And uh, these are typical RS232 modem applications uh, for a, a system. Let's not talk in detail in that. So this is uh, the end of the modem, modem related discussion. Uh, very interesting. And uh, bottom line, if I uh, someone asks me, is the phase lock loop. Phase lock loop me kamal kardi. Jin is a phase lock loop it had done all of this stuff so the communication direction they will come across this so many times uh, phase lock loop and uh, frequency modulation and uh, other types of modulations so any question so that before we can end today's lecture any question 
सर एक बार बॉर्डरेट दोबारा समझा दें और आपने बताया था कि जो हाफ बी एस के है वो सबसे ज्यादा रिलायबल है तो वो भी दोबारा समझा दें बॉर्डरेट इज सिग्नल चेंजेस पर सेकेंड लुक एट हेयर आई एम सेंडिंग सिग्नल एट इफ आई एम सेंडिंग ए सिग्नल इन फेस वन बोल्ट सिग्नल ज्यूम दैट ऑन दिस डायग्राम एम्पलीट्यूड इज वन बोल्ट दो स्टॉप शेयरिंग स्टॉप कर देना इधर कर लो यार जरा ब्लैक वाले किधर गए मार्कर यार वो लेके हो नहीं से हाँ ये पड़े हैं कितने पॉइंट बन गए आठ होने चाहिए वन टू थ्री फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन अलेवन ट्वेल्व इट इज ट्वेल्व वाली नहीं होती सिक्सटीन की होती है या एट की होती है आई एम सॉरी चले खैर डायग्राम समझाने के लिए फर्ज करें यहाँ पे एक कॉल लगा लेते हैं ये यहाँ पे कॉल लगा ले यहाँ पे कॉल लगा ले यहाँ पे कॉल लगा ले पूरे हो अब फर्ज करें कि मैं एक सिग्नल भेज रहा हूं वन वोल्ट का इन फेज विद द फंडामेंटल ये फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी है एक मैं सिग्नल भेज रहा हूं इन फेज इन फेज ऑफ दिस भेज रहा हूं तो दैट वुड मीन के मैं क्या भेज रहा हूं यहां पे लिखा हुआ वन 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 तो दैट मीन आई एम सेंडिंग वन 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 तो यहां पे मैं लिखता हूं इन फेज सिग्नल रिसीविंग वॉट एम आई गेटिंग वन 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 रिसीवर समझ जाता है कि इन फेज सिग्नल है तो वन 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 है यहां पे आ गया दिस इज से थर्टी फाइव डिग्री आउट ऑफ फेज आई एम सेटिंग थर्टी फाइव डिग्री सिग्नल रिसीवर समझ आता है कि ये मैं भेज रहा हूं वन वन जीरो अब यहां पे मैं भेज रहा हूं ये वाला सिग्नल भेज रहा हूं वन वन जीरो वन जीरो वन वन जीरो जीरो नहीं ये दो दफा दो बिट्स चेंज हो गई हैं जीरो वन जीरो कर लेते हैं एक बिट चेंज होनी चाहिए फिर जीरो वन वन ऐसे मैं ड्रॉ कर रहा हूं ये कोई एकेडमिक सोलह फोर बिट्स होंगे आपने सिक्सटीन के लिए हाँ चाहिए चाहिए तो यहाँ पे भी एक बिट का चेंज हो रहा होगा अब मैं यहाँ पे आ गया फर्ज करें मैं एक एकेडमिकली देर इज द रूल हाउ टू यू जो असाइन दीज वैल्यूज तो आई एम नॉट फॉलोइंग दैट रूल मुझे याद नहीं है बट आई एम जस्ट शोइंग इस तरह से कोई ना कोई हम इनको इसका हम कह सकते हैं लेटर ए इसको कहेंगे बी सिंबल सी सिग्नल डी सिग्नल सिंबल और इसको कहेंगे ई सिंबल इसको कहेंगे एफ सिंबल ई सिग्नल कुड बी वन जीरो 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 वन वन दिस कुड बी जीरो 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 वन एंड दिस इज नाइंटी प्लस थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सी फर्ज करें तो इफ आई एम गेटिंग हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री आउट ऑफ फेस सिग्नल विद दिस द रिसीवर वुड नो दैट आई एम सेंडिंग जीरो 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 वन
so uh, actually when i'm sending a bit uh, bit stream i am shifting between these points a very high speed kabhi ye bhejta hu kabhi ye bhejta hu kabhi by looking at uh, this chart over here ki maine ye bhejna hai to ye frequency out of phase 125 degree out of phase bhejni so by looking at this chart the, uh, you are actually uh, sending these stars kabhi ye symbol bhejte hain kabhi ye kabhi ye f g h i j k l and so on so by changing between these symbols a receiver knows ke kis kaun sa f symbol aaya hai to iska matlab hai ke ye what is f symbol 125 degrees out of phase so iska matlab ye ke agar maine ek farz kare ek second mein maine char symbol bheje hain a f d c तो सिंबल कितने भेजे हैं एक सेकंड में पर सेकंड चार बिट्स कितनी भेजी हैं बिट्स कितनी भेजी हैं सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन बिकॉज ए ए ए मींस वन 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 F means zero 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 one, D means one zero one one, and C means one zero one zero. So basically, I am sending this, which is basically a signal out of phase with the fundamental frequency. So when I send four symbols here. i am actually sending 16 bits so symbol rate is much much less than the bit rate so bit rate over symbol rate over symbol rate you can find over here so baud rate is the char symbols per second lekin bit rate has 16 bits per second so baud rate is how many times you are shifting on this point in a second and that shifting and recognition depends how strong is your signal dusra kya samajh aayi kaun the puchne wala question was buda aapne apne pucha tha nahi sir roshan ne shayad pucha tha okay रोशन दूसरा क्या क्वेश्चन था सर आपने वो मोस्ट रिलायबल जो आपने कहा था हाफ बीएस बीपीएस के वाला वो आपने रीजन क्या बताया था कि व्हाई इज इट द मोस्ट रिलायबल उसमें ये है कि आप देखें ना कि एक ये सिग्नल भेज रहे हैं एक ये भेज रहे हैं तो दे आर 180 डिग्री आउट ऑफ फेस That is why they are most reliable. क्योंकि इस इसका इतना फेज ट्रांसमिशन में चेंज नहीं हो सकता कि ये और वोल्टेज भी एक ही है तो वोल्टेज इज वन वोल्ट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री आउट आउट ऑफ फेज विद कैरियर फ्रीक्वेंसी विच इज वन वोल्ट एंड टू हंड्रेड एंड कितना था थर्टी फाइव डिग्री 25 degrees out of phase so that why it is very reliable this is a, a being sent like this so bps ke uh, and half bps ke they are very secure because aap bheji bit rate jitna zyada baud rate uh, to uh, bit rate uh, ratio bit rate to baud rate ratio jitni zyada hogi उतना ही ज्यादा आप इंफॉर्मेशन सेंड करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं लेकिन नॉइस के साथ उतने ही ज्यादा चांसेस हैं कि वो करप्ट हो जाए रेस्ट्रेन तो द बेस्ट मोस्ट सिक्योर इज व्हेन यू आर सेंडिंग ओनली टू पॉइंट्स ऑन द कैंसिलेशन डायग्राम एंड यू आर ओनली सेंडिंग वन बिट पर बॉर्डरी दैट वुड बी द मोस्ट सिक्योर वन मेरा कर हाँ हाँ 
मॉडर्न सिस्टम का आपने क्या बताया था वो समझ नहीं आया नल मॉडर्न सिस्टम में देखे ना मॉडर्न सिस्टम क्या होता है वो आप उसमें आ, आगे के टर्मिनल कंप्यूटर कम्युनिकेशन इक्विपमेंट लगाते हैं मॉडर्न वो आपके जो है सीरियल बिट स्ट्रीम वन एंड जीरो जो कि जीरो प्लस फाइव वोल्ट होती है उसको लेके आप मैंने बताया था ना मॉडर्न क्या करता है उसको हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी में ट्रांसमिट करता है अगर आपने बीच में मॉडर्म ही नहीं लगाना आपने सिंगल बिट स्ट्रीम टू बिट स्ट्रीम कम्युनिकेशन करनी है आप इधर जीरो फाइव भेज रहे हैं दैट इज यूजली डन विद इन लैब और वेरी स्मॉल शॉर्ट डिस्टेंस तो आपने तारे लगा के आप कहते हैं मैं क्यों इसको पकड़ूं और फिर मॉडर्म लगा के इनको हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी पे शिफ्ट करूँ फिर वहां से फिर लो फ्रीक्वेंसी की मैं लेके आऊँ वाई नॉट जस्ट ट्रांसमिट बिट स्ट्रीम डायरेक्टली बिटवीन टू कंप्यूटर तो देन यू टेक आउट द मॉडर्म तो Ideally speaking, there should be a modem over here. जो इधर से RTX वाला जो zeros and ones भेज रहा है वो high frequency में transmit हो उधर receiving end पे दोबारा zeros and ones में convert हो इधर receive हो इधर से जो TX कर रहा है वो high frequency में transmit हो इधर से फिर demodulate हो bit stream में convert हो इधर receive हो तो बीच में ideally a modem system would have a modem in here. तो जब वो मॉडर्म के बगैर ही आपस में कनेक्ट करें जो कि शुरू में करते थे उसका नाम लोगों ने ऐसे ही एक रख दिया नॉल मॉडर्म सिस्टम मींस नो मॉडर्म डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेशन ये बीच में देखा इस, इसको इससे कंपेयर करें आपको मॉडर्म सिस्टम है नॉल मॉडर्म सिस्टम है और इसमें फर्क देखे ये बिट स्ट्रीम को मैं यहाँ से शार्ट कर दू इधर से इधर ही डायरेक्ट भेजना शुरू कर दू और ये मॉडल मॉडर्म वगैरह सारे अंदर से निकल ही जाए तो दैट वुड बी अल मॉडर्म सिस्टम Uh, this is one computer. This is another computer. But these two computer cannot be very far off. They cannot be. Otherwise, zero, zero, four, and plus five volt. Jai na, they will uh, during transmission uh, noise will be added, and you will uh, you won't be able to send properly. so if you want to send any distance better greater than few uh, 100 feet you need to have a modem modem becomes imperative because as i said frequencies don't change along the way so fm modulation ho ya jo bhi ho that can be communicated over a very long distance with very little noise being added and that is a, a null modem system or question ha ah, bhai any other question sir yes sir jo apne ye half pps ke wala bataya tha usme s kya hai do diagrams bani hui thi ek s is equal to 0 aur 1 ke liye even aur odd upar likha hua tha uska kya matlab hai basically do streams aap bhejte hain input stream is divided in two streams even stream and odd stream and uh, even stream is sent with these two constellation this constellation diagram and odd stream is sent with this constellation diagram theek hai तो ये इससे और से ज्यादा इससे ज्यादा जो है ना मेरा ख्याल है समझने की इसमें नहीं है चीज Uh, um, अगर आप कहते हैं तो आई कैन फर्दर एक्सप्लेन इट बट मेरा ख्याल रहना नहीं इतने काफी है इसमें इसमें ज्यादा आगे जाने की जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि फिर वो और, और काफी सारी कम्प्लेक्सिटीज बीच में आ जाती हैं तो बेसिकली दिस इज हाउ दे आर सेंट सो जीरो सेंट हेयर एंड जीरो सेंट हेयर है 90 degree out of phase one cent here and one cent here is also again a 90 degree out of phase 
so basically you never get a signal that is transmitted 180 degree out of phase isse zyada main nahi bata sakta ye thoda technical hai samjhane mein kafi time lagega theek hai sir theek hai agar agar aapne communication ka koi bhi half vps ka aap search kare net pe to in see if you can understand that theek hai any other question और आई थिंक दैट्स इनफ फॉर टुडे ये जरा प्लीज ये प्रॉब्लम कर लें इसी तरह के प्रॉब्लम आने हैं आपको एग्जैक्टली सिमिलर प्रॉब्लम सो डू दिस प्रॉब्लम्स आई विल एंड हियर थैंक यू वेरी मच अल्लाह हाफिज अल्लाह हाफिज अल्लाह हाफिज